Jim Hansen with Black Cloud. As one of the uh, uneducated knuckle draggers, venting my opinions on the internet without any adult supervision, mm. I, I guess I tend towards your position that the internet polices itself. Yeah. You know, you're not going to become an authority on anything if you're wrong. And I wonder, I mean, if you look at journalistic ethics, I was having, I was just trying to think to myself, what the hell you actually managed to flesh that out into beyond tell the truth. <laughs> if you're telling the truth, okay, you just covered pretty much every element of journalistic ethics that matters. I mean, you're talking about ethical collection. When the New York Times can break information on classified programs, you know, I'm pretty sure if that is journalistically ethical, then I don't think we really have to talk about much there. So I would say I, I'm comfortable with the idea that the number of people, you've got editors and ombudsmen galore online. And if you are in a position where you rise to a level where you're gaining an audience and able to influence people, and yet you're full of it, you're going to be called on it. Yeah. By somebody who can call you on it. And then consequently, if you stick to that golden rule of I'm telling the truth because my reputation matters to me, then that to me covers pretty much everything that journalistic ethics would have required in a formal setting. I like the spirit of what you're saying. I would make a few, a few amendments. <laughs> um, I would say tell the truth is by far the most important thing. Uh, know what you're talking about. That's a biggie with me. Like know what you're talking about. That helps a lot. Uh, here's where I'm coming from. If you tell people, here's where I'm coming from, this is... Acknowledge your biases. You could call it biases. You could say starting points. You could say perspective, uh, agenda. I don't care what words we use because those themselves are loaded. But here's where I'm coming from is part of it. Also, um, this is the best I could do right now. And when new information comes in, I will correct it and update it. That, the whole culture of the update, which I think Spencer talked about, very important to creating trust, right? This is the best we know. This is what we know now. This is what we don't know. Oh, new information came in, update it. Really essential. That, as well as, um, as what do you know that I don't? What do you know that I don't? So you follow those things. Tell the truth. Know what you're talking about. Here's where I'm coming from. This is the best we could do now. What do you know that I don't? And you consistently follow those ethics. Then the result will be you'll become reliable. <laughs> and it's true what you said. You made a very good point is that there's always somebody who knows more than you do out there. That was true. You know, in the age of mass media, that was true in the 1950s. What's different now is that that person can find you. <laughs> and they can find the people who are reading you, right? And you will be called out because of what I call, mentioned earlier, the horizontal part of communication. 